Oh my goodness me, that is one hell of a thing to wake up and see. Los Angeles is Oh man, I'll tell you what, I could definitely feel how rough I was last night after drinking. Just like, very long drinking session. I ate a lot of food, so if I wouldn't have had that Korean barbecue, I'd be dead right now. A step outside, I don't think you can judge it from here, but the cloud, the, the, not the cloud, the smoke in the sky is so strong, but when I get over towards the city later on, you'll be able to see the fire that's on that TV is just beyond this wall. It, it's insane. Los Angeles is burning. Food acquired, Uber down to the office, and then we are actually gonna go check out the fire. But before I do that, um, um, yeah, okay, that's terrifying. I was gonna say, hang on a minute, you're a special driver, what does that mean? The lady who works for my children church drives this car. Oh, really? This is Uber Black. Oh, this is an Uber Black? You don't pay Black. No, I paid Uber X. You're a known writer? Oh, whoa, you're a known writer. Damn. Yeah, I'm trying to switch a character from uh, car salesman to driver, <laughs> sometimes I take a drive. Okay, okay, you. I like it. You, you, that's awesome. You're a good dude. Well, you, you do drive, you, man. I don't drive Uber Black. I just drive uh, Uber X to talk to people like you. Awesome. Ordinary people. What do you do? What kind of work do you do? Um, my name's Tom. I make YouTube videos for a living and travel around the world. I make YouTube videos where I film every single day of my life and uh, travel around the world. Oh yeah. A lot of the time, it consists of me just being at home in England with my cats at the moment, but. That's because I'm in a... You must be a rich man if you're just living with your cats in England. Uh, wait, what? Why does that make me a rich man? <laughs> because you don't have to work. Well, dude, this is my job. I do this every single day and I have done it every single day for two and a half years. You what? You just, uh, every day you live with your cat and you film just it? Can't make a right turn yeah, on yeah that, a bit, bit more than that. You know, maybe I, I go out and see my friends and go partying or go doing a sport or an activity or something. I'm not like a crazy cat lady. No, no, I like no, my cats. I know, I know, but what I'm saying is, how you make money? Google advertisements. When, oh, you, when you look at a YouTube right. video, you see an ad that pops up, uh -huh. that makes revenue. And oh, people watch how, it, the videos, oh, you can make you money. Doing? Currently my setup right now. I'm waiting at this food place for Luke. He was supposed to be here 20 minutes ago, he's not. So I'm sat here in the sun, sunbathing, listening to Christmas music. Yeah. I feel so festive right now. I am on the other hand being a bit of a dick. I'm kind of eating food from a different restaurant here. So I felt bad so I bought a drink. But Luke's gonna eat, eat here anyway and I explained that to the ladies so they don't think I'm just being a, a true dick. And uh, they're cool with it. As long as I bought a drink, I'm good. The guy has a Walkman. Oh my God, yes. An actual tape player Walkman. He is my spirit animal. An hour, an hour of sitting there after Luke saying he was gonna be 10 minutes, an hour later, he turns up, he grabs his sandwich that he's ordered, and rather than sitting there and eat it, we just leave. So, sorry, uh, top round staff for looking like a bum just sat in your in your restaurant. I appreciate your drink though. Delicious. So, oh my god, I thought we hit someone. <laughs> Let me just see what the map looks like. So, we've got to try and get up there, but I don't know if it, is it busy because there's a lot of people trying to go and see it as well? Or is it the people evacuated or is well, it just traffic? It's both. Bit of everything. It's a bit of everything. It's so, a mess. So, the thing is what I'm trying to, we've got to speak to like the team at 3BD, but we've got like this van. Right, and we got this van, and I'm like, why don't we like collapse all the seats? It's like it's huge. You can carry like maybe 20 people or something. Why don't we collapse all the seats in it? Fill it with waters and supplies and stuff like. Cause we got like merch there and stuff like. If people need clothing, food, like blankets, whatever, just whatever's useful. If we could load that up and send it up to them, like just get someone to keep driving supplies up and supplies, supplies up and supplies up. Like it'd be really, really amazing. But the thing is, like, right now I'm trying everything in my power to find out where to help, who to help, that sort of stuff. But it's not being promoted and shared enough where to find it like I tweeted so many different services trying to find out and reach out to people to find out and I still don't know uh, but I do believe they're trying to find like an evacuation place to put everyone but the thing is this fire keeps spreading so every time they move the people then they're having to move them a little bit further and a little bit further so me and Luke are gonna try our best to get not in the way not in the way right no. not in the way of the people but there's a highway that goes through two burning sides of hills um, and that's just open because it's concrete it won't burn so that's currently the situation and we're trying to drive through that just to see what it's like so boom more information when i know about it if you guys don't know about the fire in lane, you know a way to help get involved get helping and get sharing very very important to get sharing like the news articles and stuff like that so 
Let's be a man with a plan. Alright, so this is like clear blue sky, and then the further you go down, the greyer it gets. So over beyond those hills, I think over a bit that direction, is where the fire is. I'm not too sure what it- At night, will this look like illuminated? Like the fire's- Yeah. God. Damn, like I said, for this vlog, I'm gonna put in a link in the description to any things that I can help out with, being like links to where you guys can donate to or send stuff to if you're in like the California area or something like that, whatever. Ways for you guys to help if you wanna help, but like, yeah, we're gonna try and head up here, and then you'll see that the Hollywood sign is just behind this like poster thing. What is that called? Billboard, just behind that billboard. So uh, we'll see, it's Charlie. I, I really wanna buy something to take home to England. Don't know how I'd fit it in my suitcase. Ah, uh, we can see you taking photos there, man. Are you doing a, you doing like a photo or a time lapse of the, uh, the, um, the, um, the um, smoke? I think it might be. Like right now, it looking, it's looking pretty clear. But I think he's, I think he's trying to get the shot. He's promoting Steve Aoki. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe could be that instead right of this guy. Cool story about that building. Can you see that painting right there? Uh, yeah, I can see that painting right it's there. It's one of the corner. original. It's one of the original Banksy's. And the get guy lost. The, no, it's, I didn't know there's a Banksy in LA. Oh, there's a ton of them. Really? Oh, I thought it was all England. No. Oh shit! So, totally sorry not. for my not educating. Uh, early 2000, and he tagged that wall. It's was, it was really cool. One. Yeah. And uh, the guy was trying to sell the building. Yeah. And he didn't realize the worth of it, and he almost. I think the story is like he almost sold the building, not realizing the painting itself. And the sell. value added yeah. to it. Yeah. Could almost sell for what the building was worth. How much did he sell it for? He didn't end up selling it. Oh, I don't think investment. He kept it. What would you do? So Banksy hits your house right now. Now it's and you owned it. What would you do? Would you sell it and try and make profit off selling the thing, or would you cut it out the wall and then sell it online? I cut, I cut it out. Yeah. And go through Sotheby's, but I'd probably wait a couple of years. Yeah. True. True. Let it invest. Let it invest like Bitcoin. <laughs> Whilst we're here, yeah. You know what's here, don't you? What? The first ever 3D office. Yeah, yeah, right here. The first ever 3D office oh, up there. I remember sitting up there talking to you guys about what the vision of 3D 3BD was when it was two employees. Two. You and Angelo. You and Angelo. Damn. That goes way back. And then, if you zoom over there, look at that. It's a Christmas tree made out of, I think, wooden planks. But it looks like paper. Yeah, maybe letters? paper. I actually don't. Um, dude, imagine if, like, it was the, all the letters the kids had sent to Santa, <laughs> but the parents were like, and the postman was like, nah, sack this. No, get, they're not getting them and made that instead. Ah. What a gangster he would be. Ooh, that is a nice Mustang. I like that. Got to admit. Right, so where are we now, Luke? We are on the 101 Pass. We're going over the the hills uh, that are actually on fire, but they're on fire on this side. That on the other side. Well, like two miles away. Yeah. And as of right now, you can't see sort of any smoke in the air because we're round the oh, corner. Are, are we round the corner from it? You can't we're, see smoke. What are you talking about? Really? I don't know if it's the windshield the of my wind, eyes, but as of right this second, compared to what I can see out well, my from my balcony of apartment. Oh wait, you know, in the distance there, that looks smoky. Yeah. That looks smoky and foggy compared to when I was looking up then. But yeah, that, this is definitely looking smoky foggy. Yeah, you can definitely see the smoke like in between these like trees just sitting. It's like it's just sat in the air. Kind of messed up, man. Kind of, kind of messed up. What? We were just talking about how we went past the office where Luke and Angelo made 3BD for the first time. No idea the location where Angelo lives, but his house might be affected. Yeah. Definitely. So, lives, so this, see this hill right here? He lives right here. So. And that's the hill that's on fire? Yeah. What? He just made a phone call where someone was like, do you need any help with the house? I thought he was like moving houses or something because I'm aware he'd maybe doing that at one point in his life. Not that he was in the path of the fire. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're standing by. So what you're going to see right now is the same hill. Yeah. And he is, you know, a couple, still a couple miles away. See yeah. where the smoke is? Yeah. That's where we're headed. Okay. Is where the fire is. Okay. Right? Angelo lives right there. Literally, so we were passing his street. I was like, oh shit, I should fucking call him. Oh. Because I was on the phone with him this morning talking to him about it, but I didn't offer any assistance. I was like, oh shit. And this fire could just go. So it's like right, he lives right ish there. Yeah. And then the fire is. Spreading it in it, like I th I th they said um, an acre a second. Oh my god, really? An acre a second was the statistic on the TV. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Again, if any of this information is false, I just read it off the TV, so. I'm not too sure what's happened there. Little dinker ink. Little dink. I also need to throw this in here as well. It's Luke's birthday today, even though you've seen me go to one birthday party for Luke, another get together birthday thing for Luke yesterday, and now it's actually his birthday me. party, uh, his birthday today. I've already given him a card and a present. And today we're going to a basketball game together. You've had three birthdays with me. Yeah, baby. Three birthdays. Uh, you know, it's, I honestly just use this. So we're going fire hunting. And just for the record, to a rate, rate, we are staying way away from anywhere you're not supposed to be. We are not getting in the way of any services or anything like that. We're adhering to the rules. I don't know if that's the right word. Adhering? Adhering. 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 
adhering to the rules and what we're being told. Um, we're just checking it out from distance, so we're playing it safe and doing it right. But it's his birthday today. So happy birthday, brother. How old are you? I uh, didn't want to ask that. 38. 38? Yeah. Good looking man for 38, my friend. Good looking man. Playing? Can you see it? Yeah, I mean, barely. No, I can't see, I can't see it playing anywhere. Yeah, I'd pick up uh, the water and dropping it over it. Yeah, dropping it over it. But like, it. look at all the all these trees because LA is so dry. First of all, they're fighting a drought. So it's like, you know, trying to save water and all that. But now they need all the water to throw onto the land to keep it damp, keep it wet so it doesn't catch fire in certain areas. But like, it's all just this bush and shrubbery that's all dead. There's little bits of grass that just help it spread along. So the entire like mountain area is just purely burning on fire so I don't know if we're gonna see it. By the way, this is empty. Yeah, this is crazy. I, I really Did you think it was gonna be rammed? Well it was rammed earlier. It was yeah. red all red earlier, so I was like, okay, yeah. we you know, can't drive, but maybe. Yeah, so uh yeah we're it, like all the all these mountain sides, like these houses up in between them all, they're just getting absolutely leveled. Like just leveled. They're all all the how what I don't know. I mean they're made out of wood for like efficiency and like they don't need to be made out of stone because of the heat and you know all, you know, all sorts of reasons. But most of the houses in LA are just made out of purely wood. And then they're just catching a light like crazy. Wow, so this is the hills from the video that went viral. Um, you know, showing everyone what it was like, like Mordor. It's completely charred, all this like sort of shrubs and stuff away from the mountain. It's just Holy it's just wow. blank blanketed it. So it is on blanketed blanketed it. Whoa. Hell yes to these fire crew. Hell yes, dude, I, I, I can't even imagine how they deal with this, but yeah, this is what we're, we were expect. obviously burnt out by now, but it seems like, how is there still green on that hill? You know, like, everything's just charred so much, how is there still green on that hill? Yeah, so like, this is where it's like the Getty next exit. I figured all these hills would actually be on fire. From what, you know, from what the video showed, yeah. Yeah, and all these, all these were on fire as well. So it's gotta be on fire going that way. Still, still spread it, right? It just definitely look like a barren landscape, that's for sure. Crazy. But yeah, you can see the firemen. Keeping the houses that uh, were affected safe. Good on them. Good on them. So this is the thing that they were so worried about, like, is this the Getty? Yeah, it's the Getty. Oh, right, yeah, so this is like, what the massive fear about it being it reaching is the Getty Center. I don't know if there's a fire on the other side of this mountain or anything. There but is. from here, like from this side, at least, we're not seeing anything. Whoa. Look at the smoke there. You can't even see the mountain range that's usually all around LA there. Like, you know, if it spread further down, it would reach all these, all these buildings, all these like trees, everything. It just burns straight through it all. Oh, crazy. I was actually expecting it to look like Mordor, but you know, it actually doesn't, so that's great. Oh, you know what you should do, look bro? At that. That's where you can see this. You should go up on the roof. Oh yeah, that'd be a really good place to show it. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Look at that. All this cloud. Yeah, LA has smog from all the traffic, but this right now is the thick cloud of smoke just like it's trapped by the hills isn't it like no. it's trapped by the mountains so it's just stuck in the city i wonder how bad the air is to breathe in so they, they've, got, awful, they've right? got a war they've got a warning out today that you should not work out really you should not be outdoors for long periods of time oh and you should not work out today <laughs> <laughs> wow all the gym dudes in la are absolutely hate themselves everyone Get to the nearest fast food place and stay indoors. This might be the greatest time I've ever seen the sun in Los Angeles. I can only see this much of it, but look. Whoa, that's crazy. It's so orange. Well, I guess there's one way of looking at this, like saying, oh, I'm sorry it was like a disappointing um, adventure to go and see the fires, because we really did think we'd be gonna see it, like all still burning and all that sort of stuff. But, you know, in, in, the, in the best way possible, it's, it's good. The fires have been put out. It's great. There is still massive fires burning in LA, but they're like two hours away from us. Like who knows how far back they'll come again, but if they've got that fire near the Getty under control, it's a win. So if you came to this video expecting like chaos and destruction, did kind of see it, but not the way we thought we were going to see it. So there you go. Another memory for the, uh, the history books. Here we go. This is a... Uh... This is how we do. Wait a minute. Do I have to go up another floor? I think we're actually trying to, like, I think someone lives on this floor. But I think we're trying to get this floor. So we got, the, like I said, the whole building. It's kind of like my whole dream. You guys remember in the UK talking about a factory. If I could have the entire top floor to myself, that'd be sick. No roof access. Access the roof got. Whew. Oh shit. Oh, well the sun has just gone. We just missed the sun behind either building, the smoke or whatever. But look at this. There's the fire Luke. All the way in the background. You can truly see the power of it. Flipping heck. That looks absolutely nuts. Look at it. It's all just so, so smogged out and smogged out. Just breathing it all in. 
bonkers. Man, oh man, that does look like there's like an entire city on inflamed. Let's just hope it doesn't come to that. And what up, what, what, what up, pigeons? Happy birthday, dear Lou. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. So at 3BD, like I'm always here, we've got all, like all these people here, they've all got like their Macs that like, they're working on, their computers or anything like that to like do their work. He works on a Mac, whatever. I'm pretty sure if you, do you, want, if you start working for our company, do you get a Mac? Do no. we give you a Mac? I mean, I bought this my Mac. All right, that's your Mac. Well, I think, I'm lucky for this guy. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking for Jason. I think a few people may actually get Macs like to, to use, but it's like top of the line Mac that's available. Um, but I'm sorry, I'm like, I've got no Razer laptop with me. I don't have to always travel with it. I don't want to carry a PC around. If I'm down here, I want to be able to stream, make videos and all that sort of stuff. And then we're talking about it. And I'm like, you know what? I'm the goddamn co-founder of this fucking business. Like literally let the power go to my head for like two seconds. I've never asked for anything from this company. Like, can I have a desk? Or like, can I have this? Like the, the opportunity's there if I want it. Uh, but I've just never jumped on it. Um, and I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. We're going to build a PC. So he's going to spec out the best PC he can. We're going to build it. And when I next come out to LA, I'm going to have a fucking mammoth of a PC waiting for me. Uh, yeah, do, do you know what? And I need you to come up with a cool name for a PC. Like, we're going to name it. And then we're going to get one of the sticker guys to create a design. And we're going to stick the sticker, like, name. I mean, it's it's going to be a brand. Absolutely. We need a cool name for a PC. Leave some comments down below. Ah, the rage is real. I didn't show you guys, but I'm using I'm totally not Razer headset right over there. So I'm using a pat You know what? I'm calling it out. That is a terrible headset. Like I'm sponsored by Razer, and I didn't even realize that was Turtle Beach. I used to use Turtle Beaches as a kid, and they were amazing. But that is a shit headset. I, I know I sound like really harsh there towards that, and I. I it's just a fact. I'm I'm playing on a laptop with that headset, and I was getting shot at, and I couldn't, for the love of God, work out any time I run into an enemy where I was getting shot from. When you've been treated to the good life at Razer, it's difficult going to anything else. So, uh, as you can tell, I unplugged it and I'm no longer using it. We've got lat rounds, yeah. lives, money, the tracking different where to towers, go, different, different towers. Oh shit, we have different towers? Yeah, different <laughs> different enemies. Here, hold on, let me get to the and next round. Yeah, you pull the car around, I'll be down yeah, in two yeah. minutes. Did you say shut up? Oh god, what a savage. He's such a savage, isn't he? Dude, crushing it. So then we got fast enemies. Yeah. And some slow enemies. For the record, people, this is not what this game's gonna look like in the <laughs> slightest. Like in the slightest. This is the like the this is the, the most alpha of alpha of alpha is, you can even the, look at this. The day this is, work. Yeah, this is like proof of concept sort of thing. Slow people know what a tower enemies. defense thing looks like, obviously, but this is true proof of concept. This game is gonna look so good when it's done. And when it's done done, you're gonna love it. Well done, mate. Like a day's work. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh man. Man, exciting, exciting times ahead, like really, really exciting. I, I, know, I was like, oh, I'm not gonna show you guys the, 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 like, the core concepts of the game before they're out, but like, I've talked about, I'm gonna make a tower defense game for ages, so finally gonna make, wait a minute, like a, am I Uber? Uber for Tom? Ah, uh, yeah, Uber for yes, Tom. Yes, nice. So I'm gonna finally make like an epic, like really beautiful looking tower defense game, and I think you guys are gonna like it, so. Yep, it's all in the works, it's gonna happen, we're gonna fuck shit up, and it's Lou's birthday, so let's go and celebrate! Clippers! You took the words right out of my That is a huge fucking... What is that? Look how long it is. Because you can, you've seen the round part. Look how, look how many doorways it goes down that way. What the heck? When the fuck did they put that up? <laughs> Yo, this is where the apocalypse happens. That guy blocks the entire road. Like, he's blocking his entire intersection. He blocks the road. Oh, is it? Because it forces it all into one lane rather than two. Yeah. Yeah. That guy blocks a lane and we, we, got st we get stuck here. And then we die. Yeah, this is not good. At least we can quickly get KFC before we die. That's a good thing. Wait, where's KFC? Right there. Sure. I totally forgot. It's the game, the game award show, like the biggest game award show. Like <laughs> that's how. He's right there. Nah. Nah. Let's nah. Go to the Clippers game. <laughs> we're going to get drunk and watching the Clippers game. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, well, we were gonna go for a beer because Luke wants a beer. But there's an ice ring. You wanna go ice skating? 
I would have on your right birthday. Here. You want to go ice skate oh. on your birthday? <laughs> oh. Man, I'm so tired. I, I don't think I've had more than six hours sleep once this entire time being here. I even remember, like Tom, six hours is a good amount. I don't get nine. I'm a little bitch. Oh, dude, you know what, Luke? I'm so happy right now. I'm. So, you know what? Pharrell's keeping me happy. I'm loving it. This is so nice. Look at it. Skating around, making fools of themselves. I've done that. I loved it. I really enjoyed it. Look at the size of that tree. Wow, beautiful. Yeah, Yo, you know I own a bar? I didn't know that. That's my bar. That's, That's bar. my bar right there. Tom, Tom's bar. Tom's or Tom's bar. Urban. Not bad. Next step is the Staples Center where we're meeting up with Steven who lent me his iPhone 10 or X the other day to film with. Meeting up with him because apparently his company he works for has got some goddamn tickets for us to go and enjoy the game. Luke Entertainment, who's playing tonight? Go. Uh, Clippers and, uh, oh gosh, what's the name of the team? The Timberwolves. Uh, Timberwolves. Minnesota Timberwolves. And who's the guy that I said I knew that's not playing tonight? Cause Blake Griffin because he's injured. Damn it! Yeah, man. Blake Griffin's on here. Man! So that guy's not playing, that's the only guy I know, so. But it is what it is, but there's some beautiful trees. Enjoy. Oh my god. <laughs> this is what you want to do on your birthday? Yeah, I yeah. love it. Can I take one as well, please? Sure. Why not? Right. All right, Luke was literally walking past him. He was like, oh, I love I love street meat. And I was like, ugh, street meat. But then at the same time, I was like, you want one? He was like, eh. I was like, it's your birthday. It's your mother trucking birthday. You do whatever you want to do. You want to do something, Luke, for your birthday? <laughs> do it. I'll make it happen. Ayo, hey, I just had one of those dogs. Absolutely, <laughs> incredibly tasty. <laughs> and then this lady here is like, you get one of them hot dogs? I was like, yeah, so good. I, and I was like, you want one? The, yeah, the suicide dog. So I we came over to here to these boys, <laughs> buying her one right now. I, never met before. Cruz, you better enjoy this dog. Okay. Oh my I, will. God. I almost want another one, but, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to watch my diet. Let's see. Look at this. <laughs> it's like you've got your pack lunch that I bought you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, I love it. Is he doing this on a banjo? I'm sorry, this is so bright. Right. That's mad. Is he doing this on a banjo? He is. No, that's a ukulele? No way. No, that's like something else. What is that? That's what This guy's amazing. Oh, that dog. oh hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about! My first ever basketball game. Shit, these motherfuckers got lasers and fireworks! God damn! This is insane! Yo, these guys got they got flames! They got look at these, look at these banners! Look, this is so sick! Yo, shout out to the LA Kings! My boys! My boys! Oh, wow, this is so amazing. Uh, enjoy your happy birthday, Mia Luke. Well, you got some tendies. Oh, and we all get Oh, yeah, I thought we all got tendies. Nice. Thank you so right much. There. I don't want it. Yeah. No? I don't want it. All right, we're oh, good. That's one. Thank you. This guy so, who invented the solo lid is so rich. Like, just, just a heads up. This guy is so, he owns the rights to every, like, plastic makeup ever. So rich. Yo, Chris Bratz here. Guardians of the Galaxy, they just had him up on the screen. I couldn't get my phone ready. Chris Bright is down there somewhere and I cannot see or tell where to save my life. We found him. That's him sat. Oh, that, you know, you can actually see him on this pretty well. There is Chris Pratt. Pat? Chris Pratt? Chris Pratt, look at that. He's just absolutely kicking it. What an absolute legend. He's got the sickest seats in the house. Nice. Yo, the more and more I look at this screen, this iPhone X is so nice. It's just so HD. What, you know what it's like zooming in on Chris? There he is. No, he's not. That's not him. There he is. Oh, he's with his kids. That's so sick. Dude, I love this. It's beautiful. Oh. <laughs> the guy in the background. Oh, they do not look happy. That was, that was so good. I love how they 
assume the person's good. It's not a merch machine gun. Fire it. Whoa! Yo, I need one of those. I need one of those. Oh my god, look at him. He's literally the coolest guy I know. Well, not like I know in the industry. He's just so. You don't know him. Well, yeah, no. Like, I know of. Like, I mean, I don't mean like, I know like, if I name someone as an actor who I think is super cool, he, he is so cool. Look at him. He just stood down with his kids and he's cool. <laughs> it's the half time show. Yo, let's go. Saturation is so blown out, but yeah, sure. Yeah, your phone will film this so much better. It's got the X. All the way. Wait, is that Logic? Are they remixing, are they remixing Logic right now? So this is a YouTuber whose house in the fire burnt down <laughs> and he did a GoFundMe, uh, you know, like obviously to rebuild his house. He's raised $148,000 in a day. Oh my God, look at his house. Holy shit. The hype is real. We got 100 points in the game. It's currently 94-102. What's going down? What's going down? Oh, come on, you can do this. You can do this. You can do this. I'm actually supporting the Clippers right now, but oh, nasty! Yo, what is that cannon? What is that cannon? Oh my God, it's like a, it's like a Gatling gun. Oh my God, it's actually firing. Yo, what? America, you are crazy. That is so sick. You know, scratch what I said before, I want one of those. That is so cool. That is truly, truly so damn cool. Oh my god, I want one. So when a foul happens, this cow comes out, and if they miss both of these, like, is it a free throw? Free throw, yeah. Yeah, if they miss both of the free throws, then everyone in this building wins. A Chick fil A sandwich. So, if he misses this, we're all hyped. Buddy, he scored it, so. Hey, no Chick fil A, Luke. I'm sorry, bro. I know it's your birthday, but I'm sorry. And let's get ready to rumble. All right, we've got 2 minutes 39 left on uh, th 2 minutes 32 left on the clock. It's 100 and 109. So, to be honest, it's still a pretty close game. Apparently. So, oh, if this guy throws the game, we get Chick fil A. Throw it! Uh, Why? The, the, the cows wanted to give us Chick fil A. Look how sad they are. I know, like, look at that. Look how depressed this cow is. Look at him, literally. The guy's made that walk of shame like 15 times now. This place emptied out fast. Oh my god. Like, it's 105, 113. It's, I think, almost impossible. It's impossible. At this stage, I think it's impossible for them to win now. So, you know what? It is what it is. I did walk into this saying that I want the Timberwolves to win, but then I changed my mind halfway through and wanted the Clippers to win. So, it is what it is. This has been awesome. The sta stadium's empty. My man, thank you very much for the invite. Dude, from a, from, a, from a Sonic shoot <laughs> to the Oculus shoot, this is the man behind me. Like, this is the guy who's been sewing it all out. He, he knows I'm all about like experience. So he's like, yo, how about a basketball game? Thank you very much, man. I appreciate Anytime. it a lot. And especially being on your birthday. Hello, Tommy. And, and now it's time to go firefight. Let's go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the game. It's a wreck. It's a wreck, 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 wreck. wreck. Damn. Stoked us on my first ever basketball game. What did I think of it? Really entertaining. Actually, really, really enjoyable. Like, it's easy to follow. It's fast. It's not. It's not. It's not boring like baseball. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> I was filming your face, not your belly. Laker game next time. Let's do it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. We back out here on the road, heading towards the LA fire. This time, we want to get a nighttime perspective of whether or not we can see a lot of embers. We got a boy out there as a photographer. Like, I mean, like, really good photographer, shout out. I'll put his Instagram down in the link in the description if you want to check out what he does. Very, very talented dude. But he's out here, and he says he's got a cool spot to see some stuff. But there's two, like, there's not just this fire. There's two fires that we know of, but there's four fires in LA. So there's a fire that was over here. Then there's a fire that's further out, like another 20 minutes. But that one's like a raging fire, apparently. So we may be heading to that location. Hey, boys. Oh, sorry. It's a female. I'm sorry to assume your gender. Um, yo, this is O2 
KCLA 9 News Van. Oh shit, son. We're in the right direction. It seriously, seriously smells like burning up here. So this is the road we came down earlier today and we're like, oh, the fire's out sort of thing. All this hill on the right, this is what was all on fire and just looking like... Charred. Like, yeah, completely charred to anything. So we're uh, not too far away from our homeboy. So we're gonna try and meet up with him and see where he's uh, found a spot. My boy, where you at? Where you at a bit? Oh! <laughs> What's up? Our boy has got the uh, he's got the radio scanner on, so we're listening to like what? Sorry about that. Phone cut out again. So our boy's got the uh, the radio scanner on for the firefighters, so he can hear what they are saying, like what's going on, what's going down. At the moment, just reporting about traffic accidents rather than any fire stuff. So that's currently a thing. There's a copper over there with like his lights on, and we're not too sure what he's doing, but we we know the fire is is roaring. Twenty minutes up north, so that's where we're gonna head now. So we're gonna follow him. What you doing there, man? I guess he was wondering what the uh, the cars in that parking lot were doing, but I guess they've gone. I don't know if you guys can see it, but those red dots, that's they're like all the embers inside that mountain that we drove past today. Oh my god. They're like crazy. little cat eyes in it, but yeah, that's that's currently that's currently all we can see. I know it's terrible on an iPhone because it just doesn't do anything for you guys, but that's all we can see right now. Oh, wait, come here, so that will I see you tomorrow or not? You should. Like I do fly at five, but if in case I don't see you. It's been a pleasure. Look after yourself. Merry Christmas. Uh, happy birthday. Merry Christmas and have a happy new year. Happy new year, brother. I love you. <laughs> I'm now going to jump Cheers. rides. Luke's going to head home because he's like super tired. He needs to go back and see the wifey. I'm going to jump in with this boy and we're going to cruise around because we're at the base of a like huge set of hills and stuff where there should be a fire. Well, obviously, we're seeing nothing. So we're going to cruise around with a scanner and see what we can find. But Luke, drive safe. I love you. If we find anything, we'll let you know, all right? All right. That's your brother. This is a serious camera. This is a serious, you look badass as hell. <laughs> this is a serious camera, holy crap. I was there trying to film those embers uh -huh. on my iPhone and it just looked like yeah. potatoes. So if we find something, you better know we're gonna shoot it. So this is where all the uh, news people sat and set up. There's a police officer sat on, it, sat on his bicycle, <laughs> or his motorbike, sorry, with his uh, iPhone out. No fire. And this is the hill where we were at earlier on, looking at the em uh, yeah, this embers, was, this was all just like fire. burning away. But again, it seems to have been controlled. They're saying that tomorrow is going to be the crazy day because the winds are going to be much stronger. But you know, for like places like this, the fire is not here anymore. So I guess that's a win, unless he just whips up some embers and then throws it onto the other side of the road. And in that case, like that could be disastrous. Oh, this place didn't burn down, and they've got a bloody private gated community with a security guy. Look at it, LA just keeps on ticking, man. No matter what, they just keep on going. And then parked up here is a police officer. Not too sure what he's doing, but he's CHP. Um, what does that mean? They're highway patrol. Oh, really? Can he arrest you? Um, they can only arrest you on the highway. Oh, really? So he can't arrest us here. This doesn't cast as a highway, does it? That's no. the highway. No. <laughs> hmm, interesting rule. Good to say our adventure ends here, but we definitely attempted it. We tried. Unfortunately, nothing happened, but you know what? It is what it is, and he looks like a goddamn gangster. Oh man, nothing happened then. I went, I got out of the car, came to my apartment, went to watch Punisher, but fell asleep on my sofa, and now woke up at four o'clock in the morning. So I'm gonna have to go away, guys, and uh, this is gonna be my last day in LA. Tomorrow we will be flying back to England, so that should be awesome because I know you guys like my plane vlogs, but. Hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Like I said, I'm going to try and find the links to be able to help out with um, like any donations or stuff like that for the causes in LA. Um, I'm really, I really am glad that, you know, what we went and saw was controlled because that could have been so much worse. But there is areas affected in LA that are still seriously, seriously being destroyed. So it's just, it's just absolutely crazy. But... Uh, I'll keep you guys posted with anything. If I do, for some reason, forget the links in the description, I will get to it, or please go out your way to try and search for it yourself. Um, that's just me giving myself a backup plan for being stupidly tired right now. But nonetheless, thank you very much for watching today's vlog. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like, rating, subscribe, ding dong that notification bell, and I'll see you guys tomorrow at 6 p.m. for the next day of vlog. So until then, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you back in England. I'll be streaming like crazy again. And... Uh, might try and go to Iceland for a few days, so let's see how that goes. Sarios.